Sorry now, Sierra Leone has had a tough time rebuilding its economy after it was struck by the Ebola virus. One of the sectors it's hoping will become the bedrock of the economy is mining, but it has to garner investment. Let me take you now to ENCA anchor Rohiwa Mazena, who is at the mining in Daba in Cape Town, and talks to me now about Sierra Leone and its mining sector. The only thing I know about Sierra Leone um, and mining, Rohiwa, is the whole situation around diamonds. Right? Is the focus still on that, uh, or are they looking to expand beyond uh, that particular sector? That's right, Tula. So, so a delegation from Sierra Leone has come to the mining in Daba. The president was accompanied by the minister who's behind me and the director general uh, for the mining uh, agency to uh, talk to potential investors about the fact that Sierra Leone is not just about diamonds. There is uh, resources that are there in the country that can be mined and sold as lucrative uh, commodities. But I'm not going to do all the talking. I've got the director general here with me this afternoon. Uh, many thanks for your time, uh, Mr. Matai. Let's perhaps start with uh, the President's speech that he gave on Monday, saying that uh, they are here, or you are here, to get investment into Sierra Leone's mining industry. How are you going to do that exactly? That's correct. Yesterday, the speech or the keynote address given by my President, His Excellency Dr. Julius Madabio, was very inv invigorating. When you look at the theme for this endeavor, it's about optimizing growth and innovation in the digitized mining economy. And of course, he talked about several stuff. He talked about the mineral resources, but how we can actually translate that mineral resource into human um, resource, as well as social capital. He talked about Sierra being the new destination for mining investment. The reason being this year, Sierra Leone took a nationwide airborne geophysical survey which actually include radiometrics as well as um, magnetics to discover for the first time in the history of the country where our mineralization are. So with that, we, the expectation is we lower the cost of exploration for investors. And not only that, Sierra Leone has been renowned for the gold, diamond, and the blood diamond issues people know about. And, but we know definitely that Ruta, the largest and highest quality of natural Ruta in the world, is actually in Sierra Leone. But we also have bauxite, we have iron ore, Ruta, and there is already evidence from the preliminary assessment or interpretation has been done. We have nickel, we have chromite, we have um, tin. Coltan, so it's exciting period, even evidence of manganese. What we need to do now is to augment that geophysical survey with geochemical and geological survey to ensure that we have a clear picture in terms of not only we have the mineralization now, but also undertake ground truthing to allow us to quantify or to estimate the resources are there. We also want to make sure that as we are revising our Mines and Minerals Act in Sierra Leone, I mean, it's been there, it was enacted in 2009, so that we create an investor-friendly environment. We really have very friendly um, and uh, very, very low tax uh, regime. We've also made sure that investors are protected, investments are clear. We are removing duplications, redundancies in the mining legislation and our regulatory instruments so that there's so much clarity. When investors do come, they know exactly where to go, what to do. I'm the Director General of the National Mirrors Agency. It's now the one-stop shop where if you are applying for reconnaissance license, exploration license, small scale, alluvial or large scale, that's the place to call. We have our website, we're developing it to ensure that investors don't have to travel all the way to Sierra Leone, but they can go on the web from the comfort of their own environment, really uh, browse the internet, see what we have available and engage them. Again, just to tie up, as you said, the president's speech yesterday, he mentioned that we also have to make sure we keep abreast of technology. He mentioned all the disruptive technologies that are now ongoing, big data, blockchain, Internet of Things, and, of course, artificial intelligence. So because the industry, the mining industry, is getting smarter, so we also want to make sure that credible investors, as my president was emphasizing, these are investors who will come and negotiate with us from a win-win perspective and develop human capital and make sure that they also maximize their profits, but at the same time, should not forget about the social capital. So Sierra Leone is ripe for investment. That's why we are this Indaba, and we are really grateful that your agency is giving us the opportunity to showcase this. Right. Many thanks for your time.